Do do do. Oh, she marsh. Hey guys, Mousy Mars here. And lots of stuff has changed. So as you can see, I've uh, I've kind of done a bit of work here. We now have chests to organise everything. <laughs> and it's awesome. So in this chest we've got all our random kind of stuff that we work on. Oh, and ingots. This one's like dusts and a stuff and things. Got blocks here. You can see I've kind of put my metal former away. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, this is just where I throw all my ores. We're going to save the cinnabar. Uh, apparently it's from Thorncraft now. That's pretty weird. I thought that was a thermal expansion thing. Um, in here we've just got seeds and stuff that we can plant to get stuff. This chest is where we get all our harvest balls. This is just uh, Britannia flowers and craft stuff. And then we just have our random junk chest. Down here, oh yeah, okay. Uh, so it's basically the same setup we had last episode. I've added this sag mill, uh, which I use to get lapis. Because uh, when you're doing lapis, let me see, lapis. Basically. When you have a lapis saw, I, I went to the nether to mine some ores, and I got two of these for each one. And basically, whoa, hang on, dense. Okay. Um, so basically, what happens is, well, let's do uses on this one. You see, the redstone furnace gives me six, pulverizer nine. So I should have made a pulverizer, to be honest. But this one here gives me eight with a chance of getting that one, and a chance of cobble as well. I just went with this one because it was easier for me to make. That would be useful for them. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will go with mining for small lapis, but today I kind of want to get into making some Tinker's tools. Um, and also I want to explain down here. So this uh, coppery thing you see is actually the uh, CESU, which I said I'd make. Well, I said we'd make it this episode, but I decided to go ahead and make it. It's... Um, it's very easy to make, so it's just it's basically all copper. See, um, just some copper casts, lead, sulfur, cables, all comes together to make it. And then behind here is actually the bat box. Behind here, um, you can't really see it, but it's like right, right there. <laughs> this here is a pretty vanilla-y looking thing. So, chest, throw all the ores in here. This here says um, it ejects to the bottom side. You can actually adjust it. So if I click down, it will go. It will go down. If I click up, it will go up. Click this way, it will go that way. And uh, that sets what side it ejects to. So it's ejecting down into here, and then this here ejects out to the side. So it's kind of you know you process all your ores. I am going to make another mass ray that isn't connected to this system. Um, I might move this system so that we can have more machines here as well. Still got the extractor here, and our lava set up, unfortunately, is it night time? Oh, let, let me sleep real quick, come on. Monsters nearby. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll go out anyway. Hello, spider. So, uh, we actually drained this entire thing of lava, so I had to actually go... Oh yeah, I found some uh, other, other bushes here, the yellow ones there. So... I've actually, uh, this is still the same, I've actually, in the nether, I've set up a pump. Uh, just because we ran out of lava in the overworld, and we will not be able to run that. We should probably take our uh, our tanks with us, actually. That's what I was going to do. So we'll grab these to fill them up. So um, I set up a pump, and I, I kind of placed some cobble path down, because walking through the nether on the bricks that were uh, on the, was it, kind of like volcanic stuff that they have here. It's, it's quite hard. So I, I lay down some, uh, oh, my, my god skeleton, what are you doing? Please tell me I didn't attack that pigman. That, that was scary. Oh, okay, let's walk around here. So over here, you can see I've done this little path 
because of this um this grey brick here. It's hard to work on that I'll show you. See look, makes you very slow and stuff. I don't like it. <laughs> so I just made a path for us to jump up quick and run over here. But if we if we could run, that is. There's actually a lava lake under here, that's why that's there. I didn't want to keep falling down it, so not that I fell down it at all. And there's no door here either, we should probably make ourselves a door. But uh yeah. This is basically just the exact same pump setup we had before. Um, so we've got the pump, we have this, we've got the power and the lava. And now we have two drums full, apparently. Uh, we will take one of these drums with us. And then we will fill up our tanks. Uh, but like I said, after we do this we're going to get into tinkers. So the things that I want to make, the things that we need to make for tinkers. Tinkers construct. So the things we need to make are the tool station, uh, the part builder, the stencil table, which you know they're all pretty straightforward to make. And uh, we also want to make a tool forge, but we need seared bricks for that. Seared bricks are pretty straightforward though; they're just grout, which we have all of the stuff to make, which is perfect. Uh, so then. We will then w uh, make the. Uh, let me find it. Yeah, here the um, the smeltery, which is seared bricks, and then you need a smeltery drain to get your stuff out. Smeltery controller, and then this just uses lava, which we have an abundance of. Uh, and then we will make some tools. So the tools that I want to make, I'll show you in a second once we get the tool forge and stuff made up. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the uh, base that we've made I wouldn't really call it a base but base and uh, I'll see you there ok guys I'm back and uh, we're back here at the basey place so if we we'll make up this seat of brick so I'm going to make just a stack of grout to, oh ok over, over a stack of grout then <laughs> to get this started I think we just smelt it Right. I I don't know. Well, we shall find out in a second, though. Yeah. Okay. So we just smelt this stuff. So we'll head down here and we'll throw it into our electric furnaces like that. And that will that will go ahead and make that for us. And while that happens, I'll go ahead and start making the other stuff we need. you a different type of dirt. Ah, we now have coarse dirt. Of course we do. So yeah, while I was mining I also got a load of redstone and a load of coal as well from the nether. We actually have more lapis than we thought. The redstone is very good because that can make our picks faster, which is awesome. And that's what we kind of want. Uh, I'm keeping this lava on me for our smeltery. So, first thing we need to make is this tool station. So we need to make some blank patterns and then crafting station, which uh, luckily we already have. Well, we can just make one. So let's do that. Done. Grab some sticks and some wood. And we'll make a few patterns because we want to... Uh okay, 36 is a bit of an abundance. But just in case, you know, it's not its not like we're going to be short on any of this stuff, is it? These things here. So, part builder. Pattern chest. Uh, sensor table goes next to the pattern chest. Perfect. Ah, wonderful. So, actually, hang on. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. Sensible table, and just. So, what we want to make is we want to get ourselves a pick, obviously. Uh, probably just a pick on this one, uh, and then once we get to the other one, we'll make ourselves a hammer and stuff. So I'll show you guys.
what we do here. We need to get some cobblestone to do this, actually. And some paper, because I like using paper toilets. Give me the cobble. No, we don't need that much cobble. And we will take out some sugar cane. 16, that'll do. Do, do, do. Perfect. Oh, no, wrong chest. There we go. And... Yeah, okay, so... Head over here. So the first thing we need to do is get some of these pa these patterns into this chest. So we use this here to choose what we want to make, and then we throw stuff in. So we want to make one of these rods, first of all. Are you going to... No, I don't want that. I want a stick tool rod. We'll throw all of them in there. Tool rod, and then we also want one of these, for the, which is a binding, and a pick head. Now I'm also going to make the ones for the shovel head, and this one, and that should do for now. We could make a sword actually, but we're not going to yet. Eventually I'm just going to make patterns for all of this, and it will all be good. But I'll do that off camera, and then I'll fill up this chest, then we won't need this anymore. So now we've got these in here, we can now use the stencil table. Here's all of our patterns in here. And we can go ahead, put a piece of paper in there, make those paper rod, done. Use this axe head. Now I would make this out of thormium, no sorry, the, the pick head out of thormium or the binding, but uh, we're not in Thorcraft yet unfortunately. So I'll get ourselves a stone pick head. Don't worry, I know it's stone. Um, but it can mine l iron level and we can make it faster and then once we get a diamond we can throw a diamond on there uh, we can also throw RF on here or IC2 as I'll probably do since we're using IC2 now for the binding uh, I ideally I want to use a slime binding which is sand So it's like this. Done. Slimy mud. And now we throw that in there. And then we will get ourselves what we need, which is one of these slime crystals. Apparently. It would be a bit embarrassing if this isn't actually what you need to do. Then the wiki has lied. One of them. One of them. Perfect slime binding. Now, some people like to make the rods out of this slime binding, but not me. And remake this tool. And this time, we will use slime for the rod and paper for the binding. Luckily, these things are so cheap, we can do this. And where's the cobble? Cobble for the head. And then we will see if this makes any difference at all. So now this pick has four mining speed, four modifiers. 39, 160, 196 durability. Wow. So essentially, this pick's good. This pick is sucky. So you know what we do to sucky picks. Bye bye. Actually, we'll keep it just in case. We'll just throw it inside our drunk chest. And then we can get rid of it at a later date. I don't like throwing stuff on the floor. In there you go, sucky, sucky pick. Oh, our brick might be ready. Is you ready, the brick? Yes. Perfect. Let's come up here. So now we need to make some seared bricks. So you make a 3x3 three three gap when you're doing this, so we need 12 for one layer. Um, so 24 for two layers. So we're going to make two layers. 
And then we also we have a we actually have the smeltery controller. Chu gave us two of them for some reason. We need a smeltery drain, which is like this. That helps us get everything out of the smeltery. And then we can also make smeltery tank uh windows, sorry, not tanks. We need a tank though. Uh, I think we can use clear glass. Ah, we're gonna have to make some more seared brick, aren't we? Yes. I'm back and I've done that now. So if we just go ahead and try and make this tank now. Add enough of it. That is not a casting table. No, don't make that. Really? Alright, so I've actually found a way to improve the quality of my mic. It's now sitting further away from my mouth. And it's on a towel. Yep, you heard correctly. We went from a cup to no cup, and now a towel. <laughs> the things I do. So we're going to get this here smeltery going, so on this side is going to be like, hmm, actually we're going to move it back a bit to just like over here, because yeah, sorry about the audio in this video, it's a bit, nah, some of it's been shit, let's, let's just say that shall we, uh, one, two, three, oh, no, 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 come on, okay, one, two, three, one, two, Perfect. Uh, we're actually going to do two layers, like I said, on the smeltery. And at the front here is going to be our... Our lava is going to go right here. Oh, hang on. Smeltery drain. Smeltery controller. That's what I'm looking for. Controller can go there. Drain. Hmm. We'll put our controller on this corner. Controller. Actually, let's see. Uh, we'll put our tank in the middle here. We did have two. We did make two tanks, didn't we? Yeah. See your tanks. They can go there. And then at the front here, we need to have our smeltery drain. Which we'll do right there. And then we will just. Aha! Done. That is our smeltery finished. Perfect. Yes! It's a thing. Perfect. So now we want to melt up some of this here. Now I'm not sure how much it costs to make these plates. These gold plates. Don't cost. How much? 144. Does that say aluminum brass? Why? No, we can use gold. Ah, oh, hang on, this will tell us. I think. If we find gold, gold, okay. So it gives us 144. And every blank cast is 288. So it's two gold for one of these. So one, two, three. We can make three of them. Let's make four of them. Alright, now we have a pan for everything. The ones that we're actually going to need to use are the... Uh, I, I guess we should do one for the head. And for the pickaxe. Not one of these ones, sorry. Okay. Now what we can do is, we'll do the pickaxe head first, we pour this in, and this will make us a car so that we can make like metal pick heads, which is awesome, and we should make ourselves a chest, so that means it's going to be lovely and white and cool. Yeah, no, maybe it'll look awesome. I can only make one of them though. For now, anyway. Where's the hammer? This is probably a terrible tool. 500 
mining speed one. It's almost there. Any second now. Pig iron platter. What? What is pig iron? Blood, liquefied emerald, molten iron. Ah, oh, I want some pig iron now. Make it a pour. Fill up the cast. No. Need some more. Guys, it's pouring, finally. I think we're going to have some iron left. Nope. Okay, good. So now we have this. Throw that in there. Iron hammer. 1.3. Okay, it didn't really make much difference. But it, look how cool it looks. <laughs> how awesome is that? And, I mean, we can just go ahead and put 50 redstone on here. And then this hammer. It's just an awesome hammer. So now, we will also make our broad axe, which will help us cut down trees. And now I can make the axe. So it's got 1.6 mining speed, which is kind of low. Haha. -ha. So now we can get wood really, really quickly. And then we'll start this right here. Ah, oh, yeah. This is going to make it so much quicker. Then once we get an excavator, these things here should be no issue either. But since we have none, we can't do it like that, sadly. So yeah guys, that's about it for this episode. Thank you guys for- oh wow, look at this. That is a fast pick. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. We can't wind this.